Hello guys and welcome back to tutorial number 10 part 2 Again in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do a up down counter In our part 1 we created a 7 segment display In this part we're going to go ahead and create a the up down counter the module for the up down counter so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the up down counter so in the same project that you guys have the the hex to seven segment display module go ahead and right click and add a new source then do your parallel module name your your counter I'm going to name my mod, my module up down counter so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and write my inputs and outputs so I would like my counter needs a clock so I'm going to write clock it needs a reset and the reason we need a reset is because we want to be able to reset it back to zero and also an enable my enable what it does is basically if it's high it will count up if it's low it will count down basically the enable is a switch on my board that if I put up as high it will let my counter come up count up and if I lower my switch as low then it will help, it will make my counter count down and then the last thing I need is my output which is the count itself okay now I'm going to go ahead and declare my inputs and outputs And again, uh, from the last tutorial, part one, uh, I told you guys that my the hex um, the hex to seven segment display gets an input of a four bit count. I mean four bits. So that's why my count here is uh, four bit. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a always block. Always add pass edge. And so at the positive edge of the clock, so this always block will always be looking at the positive edge of the clock. And what I wanted to do is uh, if reset is equal to 1 so basically if we push a reset button and tell it reset the count will go back to 0 else if the reset is not asserted or is not high we're gonna first check for the enable if the enable is 1 then my counter will count up so it's a count will equal to count plus one else if my enable is zero then my counter will decrement by one and then Go ahead and close your loops. So I'm gonna end my loop here, and I'm gonna end my always block, and I'm going to end my module. So basically, a counter, an up the counter, it's uh, self-explanatory. 
If you have a reset, then the counter goes back to zero. If the switch for the enable up, the counter counts up by one. If the switch for the enable is low, then the counter decrements by one. And that's it for the counter. I'm going to go ahead and now build a test bench for it so we could test it. So let's go ahead and do that. Put source. Just to save it. Okay. So let me go ahead and build my test bench, and I'll explain it to you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I built my test bench, and it's uh, basically very simple. All you have to do is um, in the initial begin that is originally given to you by silence just go ahead and continue changing the inputs and then test every case so test if you press reset as if you reset will it go back to zero if you do not reset will it keep counting and then the enable up high for for counting up and the enable low for counting down and just keep testing every single case to see if it works in a simulated environment and make sure you save it check your syntax and then run it and then just look at your output and see if you got the right outputs so what I did, I didn't do a printed output for faster purposes I just left it with the bench up here so I'm gonna check it in. Uh, the red here is uh, don't cares. That's because um, I didn't initialize my count to zero. It gave me don't cares at the beginning, but it's okay for now. Well, it doesn't really matter for our case. So I will check my output and make sure that um, when I do a reset, uh, my output is reset. When I do a count up, it counts up, and when I do a count down, it counts down. So basically, that's how the counter works. It's a very simple module, and you just have to understand that that if you put the enable high, it will count up. If you switch the enable low, it will count down. And for my reset, I will use a I will use a button on the board and for my enable I will use a switch so that's it guys uh, we'll go ahead and post the next video sometime this week for the clock divider and we'll go ahead and work from there so good luck and I'll see you soon bye